Dr. Privetera, could you give us a, an update on the relationship between stress and seizures? For years, people with epilepsy have reported stress as one of the most common triggers of seizures. But we don't really understand much more about how stress works, why it would trigger seizures, what kind of stress we're really talking about. Mm -hmm. um, so we've embarked on a, on a series of studies, uh, some with our basic science colleagues, looking at stress models in animals and animal models of seizures to try to say, well, we know what it takes to trigger seizures using this particular chemical or this particular seizure uh, electrical stimulation. And does the addition of stress change that threshold? And surprisingly, uh, we, w there's been some studies that have demonstrated that stress does have an effect, hmm. that when you stress these animals, they are more susceptible to seizures, mm -hmm. um, including brain injury after status epilepticus, which is a series of seizures. Mm -hmm. The other part of that is we're now embarking on some human uh, studies trying to see in people who have medication-resistant seizures whether adding a stress reduction plan to them mm -hmm. might help. So we're uh, n not completed, but nearly completed with one of our major studies where we've tried to look at a stress reduction methodology added to people with uh, epilepsy and also monitoring their, you, we use these smartphone diaries and they put stress and mood mm -hmm. variables into the diary so we can actually monitor on a daily basis what their stress level is and how that correlates with seizures and then try to figure out in individual people how we might be able to block some of those seizures by using stress reduction methods. Mm -hmm. And in the course of this study, are you targeting particular types of stress or certain sources of stress? And have you looked at uh, the, the effect of secondary effects of stress on sleep, for instance, that might also uh, affect seizure threshold? So the, the, the types of stress are sort of difficult to separate out because, mm -hmm. uh, as you know, I mean, uh, everybody has different stressors. I mean, you know, some people love their mother-in-law and some people go crazy when their mother-in-law mm -hmm. comes. But um, so we're, we're looking at patient reported stress. So it, it would be specific to that person where they say, my stress level today is a 95 out of 100 or my stress level today is a 10 out of 100. Mm -hmm. um, you're, there are other markers of stress, and, and this traditionally is what I had spoken to patients about when they said, gee, I think stress triggers seizures. I said, well, stress, when people are under stress, they don't sleep as well, and we know that sleep deprivation is mm -hmm. a seizure trigger. But interestingly, uh, we don't have the data from this new study, but previous studies looking at that have, have found that it seems to be independent, that mm. when people are under stress, they don't sleep as well, but it's the stress that really is associated with the increased frequency of seizures and not just the sleep deprivation. So maybe mm -hmm. sleep deprivation or interrupted sleep adds something, but the stress itself seems to be a really uh, important factor. Mm -hmm. Is there a way to, to look at uh, forms of stress such as uh, medical illness or uh, loss of a relative or other sources of stress that would perhaps be quantified in, in a different way? Yeah, people have looked at this through surveys in the past, but um, looked at, for example, after 9-11, or um, there was a series of floods in, uh, in the Netherlands, mm -hmm. and they saw that seizure frequency did seem to go up with these acute stressful events. Mm -hmm. um, although w what's interesting is the studies that we're doing, we also ask patients, do you think uh, that you will have a seizure in the next 24 hours? Mm -hmm. So instead of going back, and saying, gee, I had that seizure, it was probably due to stress. Mm -hmm. We try to monitor what people think their seizure likelihood is. Um, and what's interesting is in one study, we demonstrated that uh, somebody thinking that they would have a seizure in the next day in combination with a high self-reported stress level was really the predictor of the seizures happening. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Privetera. Thank you.